Hi. So in this video, um, I'm just going to talk about my diagnosis um, and how I actually found lump. Um, actually, it wasn't me that found it. It was my two-year-old daughter. She was two at the time. Um, it was two days after her second birthday. We'd had a birthday party for her in the house and her routine was all out. Um, and I'd never let her sleep in our bed before. We'd been quite strict with stuff like that. And um, But she kept waking up and all this and I was really, really tired. So I was just like, just stick her in our bed. So we did. And um, about half past five the next morning, I woke up and her um, legs were underneath my breasts. So I'm trying to move them out of the way so I don't actually wake her. And as I was moving her, I felt a lump, which to be honest, the first thing I thought it was like a gnat bite or something like that, because it was in the June. Um, so I thought I'd kind of just been bitten. I moved her out of the way. So I was laying down flat and um, I felt it again and then I could actually feel like a pea-sized lump. So I got out of bed, um, had a look in, in the mirror and there was quite a big in, indent and the um, lump was underneath that and I must admit the minute I saw the indent I kind of knew I was like this this ain't this ain't right because that's a huge sign of cancer anyway so I, I must admit my kind of brain went into over, overdrive and um, woke my partner up at the time and um Anyway, literally that morning, so it was a Tuesday morning, um, I'd phoned the doctors and uh, they got me in and he examined me and said, yeah, you need to go on the two week waiting list for a scan, which the minute you hear that, you kind of freak out. Um, but to be fair, it took quite a while for that scan to come through. Um, in all, it took actually seven weeks for that scan to come through. But luckily I had private healthcare with work. So I went I went through that and they got me in just over two weeks, I think it was all, all, all together. Saw the surgeon at the time, um, he examined it and he said, I really don't think this is anything bad, but obviously we'll do a ultrasound. Went in, had the ul ultrasound, felt quite good about it at that point. Um, I was there for about a good 20, 25 minutes um and then they said we need to take a bi um a biopsy which again you start to think okay um which they did and then i went back in to see the surgeon and he basically just said um they're a little bit stumped at the moment so they're gonna test it but he was talking to me about cancer and the fact that if it was cancer it would be stage one and he was just kind of talking about cancer a little bit too much for me. So I, I I knew, I knew from the minute then. And then we had um, literally seven day wait, went back um, on the 17th of July and he literally just said, um, so Claire, yeah, it is cancer. And I was fine about it, absolutely fine about it. Um, because I think I knew, I already knew before I went in my partner at the time, he looked completely shocked. The nurse was sitting there trying to get the tissues out and I'm just literally how I am to you now. And I just said, okay, what do I need to do? What is the plan? And he said, we'll get you in to see an oncologist and they'll go, they'll get the plan from there. Um, which to be fair, that only took a few days and then I was in and <laughs> literally when you're, I was so like, just just as I am to you now, I was just like, okay, what do we need to do? And she was like, yeah, um, it's a six week, six, oh, sorry, six, um, six cycles of chemo. Um, and then there'll be um, five years of Zolodex injections. Then there'll be 10 years of tamoxifen. And I start hearing all this and I'm thinking, this is a 10 year plan. Like, you, I, I, you don't realise actually how long these are. It's not just a case of you do your chemo, radiotherapy and surgery and done. It's it's not like that at all. So that shocked me. Um, and then she was just so blase about it. And she just said, like, do you want any more kids? Because if you do, we need to freeze your eggs now. Um, but if you do do that, it's going to delay the chemo. So, and I had a very aggressive cancer. It was, it was growing quite quickly. So... I had to literally make a decision. So I found out I had cancer like 
two days before and then there I am making a decision did I want any more kids um which I kind of knew I didn't want any more kids anyway before that so when she said it was going to delay the chemo I just said no because I my little girl was only two at the time she needs a mum so I needed to a fight a fighting chance for this so um I made the the decision there and then not to freeze any eggs so obviously I don't have a clue if I if I can have children or not but um I don't want to find that out anyway, to be honest. Um, and then she said after the first cycle, um, your hair will fall out. And she, she was just saying stuff so like, obviously she says it all, all, all day long, but the minute they said about your hair falling out, that really hit me, that, that, that hit me hard. And I didn't think it would because you literally, that, you just feel like you're losing your identity. And for anyone to say it's only hair, it will grow back. Honestly, unless you've been through it, you have no idea how that what that feeling is is like. It's because that choice has been taken away from you more than the hair itself. So it's really when someone says that to you, it's quite harsh. So always be mindful not to say that to people that are actually just about to lose their hair. Um, but that was basically it. And then they were going to, um, after the chemo, they were then going to do the surgery. And then I had 19 rounds of radiotherapy. They wasn't too sure at this point if they were actually going to having to remove the breast or just do a lumpectomy. We wasn't too sure at that point. It all depended on the chemo and how I responded to that. Um, but yeah, so that was my diagnosis. I will do another video on how the treatment went and what happened to me through the treatment and all my symptoms and... Um, everything like that I will do another video on that but I don't want this to be too long but that was basically my cancer diagnosis so I was stage one I'm sure I was grade three god you know what your brain goes into I'm sure I was stage one grade three her two positive um breast cancer so yes so I will make another video on my treatment and how that went